Could the launch of co-op be a buggy mess? The return of familiar characters like June, the issue with the battle rifle in Halo Infinite, and could Halo Infinite see a battle royale eventually? We'll answer those questions and some more in this video, so stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. The channel keeps you up to date with everything going on with Halo. And today we have a bit of a Q&A kind of video answering some questions from the community about Halo Infinite. So what I did, I recently went to my community tab here on my channel and asked the question, do you have anything else you wanna know about Halo Infinite? And you guys certainly replied a lot, 100 plus comments asking some questions. So I cherry picked a few comments out of this whole thing to see if there's any kind of interesting things we could talk about and inform you guys more about Halo Infinite. So if you guys wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo Infinite, it, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel keep yourselves up to date if you like these kind of q a videos want to see more like it make sure you tap that like button so let's get right into the content here bonzo asks the question do you think co-op campaign will be a buggy mess when it launches i mean never say never when it comes to this stuff though that's kind of the idea of why they're delaying co-op is because maybe it's a buggy mess right now and they want to make sure when they do release it it functions properly now could there be some bugs in it absolutely that's kind of just game development in general where like you can test and test test and test as much as you can internally, but not until you hand it out to the public is when you finally get a chance to see like how co-op will actually work out. This is where I think like for the flighting process, 343 kind of hinted at previously, where it sounds like the flighting process will continue on into the release of Halo Infinite and beyond it as well. And this would be certainly something that you would flight to make sure that the Halo community as a whole can provide feedback, find some bugs, because you can never truly test enough until you hand it out to the wild. Co-op campaign is currently scheduled to be released on season two, which is about three months after the release of the game. Though obviously things can be subject to change, development schedules can change as well, new bugs can be found on top of that. So it's kind of more of a guideline of when we can expect to see co-op come into Halo Infinite. They sounded rather confident about the three months. And so I would say with Within the first six months, absolutely, we'll see co-op come into the game. I'm sure it'll be something that would be flighted as well. So guys, make sure your flighting profiles are up to date. And so we get a chance to play some co-op campaign as soon as possible. Fair Vlogs UK asks, do you think Halo Infinite campaign will have returning characters such as June from Reach or maybe even a character exclusive to the books? Now it kind of depends what you mean with Halo Infinite's campaign. If you're talking about the launch campaign of Halo Infinite, I really don't expect to see that happening. As 343 has stated multiple times, that this is going to be a Master Chief focused story and when you start throwing in other Spartans into the situation you know it kind of just muddies the water it has too many characters kind of involved with the whole process I mean a big appeal about Master Chief is that like you play as the guy who can solve the problem essentially when you have like a crew of people who can also do or be just as powerful as Master Chief it kind of dilutes like the power fantasy that happens with a game like Halo so at the launch story of Halo Infinite, I don't expect to see really much or any other Spartans for the most part. Maybe maybe like kind of outside of the world of Zeta Halo or something like that. I could totally see like a Spartan being involved, but like on Zeta Halo, on the map itself, with you playing as Master Chief, I think you're going to be the only Spartan that's going to be available. Though down the line, I could totally see that happening where you have returning characters in Halo Infinite stories that are going to be added into Halo Infinite throughout the 10 year plan that we currently have for the game. I know a lot of people have said they want to see the Arbiter. We've mentioned here about seeing June or other characters coming back from the books even as well, which would be super cool. Though I think at first the launch story needs to be kind of simple, straightforward and to the point. Kind of like how Combat Evolved story was, but for a new generation. The Rust Bus asks the question, after seeing the changes made to the Gravity Hammer, do you think 343 should or would make changes to the Energy Sword? Maybe making the swing speed faster or maybe increasing the lunge for example? What if the sword had an alt fire mode so that you can block instead of classic binoculars? This is certainly an interesting take as well as we have seen that the gravity hammer has completely changed when it comes to the gameplay aspects of how you use it within Halo Infinite. Though I think the reason why that gravity hammer changed so much is to distinguish it from the energy sword because with the gravity hammer and the energy sword, the really the only difference was that you had a little bit more of a kind of blast radius with the gravity hammer, but they essentially acted out the same. There wasn't really much of a difference between the two weapons. And so that's why we saw the gravity hammer change so drastically with a slower swing speed and a much greater, and I mean much greater blast radius of a kill radius right there. I think with the energy sword, there really isn't like a whole lot you can do with it, honestly. Like, yeah, you can maybe increase the sword range or something like that of it. But I think the main thing is that you want to try to keep it simple with the energy sword. I mean, you see like this big stabby thing in your hands. 
What do you expect to do? Stab people with it. I mean, maybe you could throw it or something like a throwing knife or something. That'd be like kind of an interesting gameplay aspect to the whole thing. Uh, but that, that would be like my only like alternate firing mode kind of thing I would like to see with the energy sword if that would be even like a playable thing that would be fun to play against probably not honestly but it's just like one idea I could think of when it comes to how could we change the energy sword in some way to bring some new mechanics in it but like I said like I think the reason why we saw such a huge change is to the gravity hammer is to distinguish it from the energy sword so it's not just like another melee weapon it's a melee weapon that acts like a power weapon that can easily get multi kills and has a big huge blast radius or maybe the sword has probably have a faster swing more precise kind of quick maneuvers kind of thing which totally makes sense with like a gravity hammer you see these brutes like swinging this big heavy thing that was much more in line with like say like an energy sword though is much more like quick fast and nimble which is why we've seen like elites utilizing it more because elites are very like fast nimble kind of creatures within the world of halo so i don't really want to see much change or would i expect to see much change i mean we could see maybe differences throughout the years of like swing speed lunge range and things like that but for my limited play time with the sword because that was a hidden weapon within the last flight it just kind of felt like the sword from previous halo games and i have no problem with that i love the sword and glad to see it came back exterminator 217 asks the question do you think the battle rifle being hit scan will be a problem in infinite it'll end up being a sniper on big open maps. This certainly could be the case as well because we do know that since the battle rifle is hit scan, you basically don't have to lead your shots at all in the game, which does lead to a much snappier, more solid kind of experience. Again, though, the problem with that is that you can't really have like these big open maps like we had previously, let's say like a map, for example, like Blood Gulch does not work at all with hit scan weapons. We tried this with Halo Reach when you had Hemorrhage and yeah, that kind of played terribly. Same thing with Halo 2 Anniversary when you had the Coagulation Bloodline remake as well. When you're trying to play that map with hit scan weapons, you basically have people just kind of sitting towards the outside of the map, sniping each other, just kind of peppering each other, you know, back and forth with battle rifles the whole time because it's hit scan. You don't have to lead your shots. There's like no bullet deviation whatsoever. And so it certainly does cause an issue on large scale maps. But we can see with the big team battle map that we played with Fragmentation, they certainly had this in mind because the lines of sight are not that long. There, there's, there certainly are some long lines of sight, like looking into bases and down those long hallways certainly there for sure so you can definitely see how like you have these gigantic walls throughout the entirety of the map they gotta help divide up the lines of sight a little bit more so you're not getting picked off across the map because that's a huge issue when it comes to hit scan especially for a battle rifle that you can kind of pick up people at long ranges without really having to take in consideration bullet travel time as well like you had to with halo 3 I mean, you play Halo 3 Valhalla, you can kind of see the difference when you play uh, Halo 4 Ragnarok, you can see the huge difference in gameplay and how it's less freeing, less movement is available because of the change to hit scan from bullet projectiles. So as long as 343 develops their maps with hit scan in mind with their weapons, that I don't expect it to be much of an issue, especially since fragmentation played out so well that I think that they kind of have the right idea of how to make these maps. Though this does sadden me because I had my finger Fingers crossed so much for a Blood Gulch remake coming in with Halo Infinite because they put such a huge emphasis as this game being kind of like a reboot and kind of like a callback to Combat Evolved. What's the ultimate Combat Evolved map from that game? has to be Blood Gulch, but Blood Gulch does not work with like hit scan battle rifles. It's actually quite a miserable experience. Though obviously we just kind of have to wait and see until we get a chance to play more B2B maps to see if they take in hit scan battle rifles into consideration. But it looks like from our first impression from Fragmentation that they certainly are doing that. Our last question of the day comes in from Puzzy Power saying, Although there are already a lot of arguments revolving around whether a battle royale should exist or not in Halo Infinite, I'm curious to hear from you. Do you or do you not believe Halo Infinite should eventually have a battle royale? I'm 50-50 on the topic at the moment. Yes, that's right. We're talking about the battle royale coming to Halo Infinite if it does happen. Uh, though I do think eventually it will happen. If not, the, if the community doesn't make it within Forge, uh, I would be surprised if 343 hasn't tried developing a BR with Halo Infinite or it's kind of laid down the groundwork in some places. Uh, at launch, we do know that Battle Royale will not be there for sure. Though, we do know that there have been some leaks involving Halo Infinite, which definitely lead itself to kind of assuming that they've developed a Battle Royale mechanics in some capacity, though. One is that we have the audio leak of Jeff Sticer saying Battle Royale. 
which certainly could mean there's is a battle royale. Certainly could mean that there isn't one. I mean, it could be just like eventually if they want to make it, they have Jeff Steiser here. We'll just get him recordings of recording of him saying battle royale just in case we ever do want to make it. I'm sure there's plenty of Jeff Steiser lines that just kind of got left on the cutting room floor of this game. And there was also a leak of this game mode called Attrition that's going to be coming to Halo Infinite. But the really interesting thing about that mode is that it's kind of a limited lives TDM kind of game mode. But the thing is, is as the game comes to a close, you have literally a ring that closes in on the map slowly, just like you would see in a battle royale. So it seems like some of the ingredients to make one are certainly there within Halo Infinite, though it just depends whether or not they can execute on it properly. I think the best way to do a battle royale within Halo Infinite is to one, just release like a straightforward Halo game, which it seems like be the idea of what 343 is doing, which I'm really glad that they are. But I think maybe like six months down the line, maybe a year down the line after the release of the game, put out a battle royale. Because there is no game mode that 343 could make that would generate as much buzz and attention for Halo Infinite as a battle royale. Yes, Big Team Battle is great and it's a ton of fun. There could be some brand new mode that like, it could be the greatest thing ever to come to Halo, which possibly, I don't know. But even then, no game mode would be able to generate as much buzz and attention for Halo as a battle royale, as they are still incredibly popular and still very fun. Now, would I personally like to see a battle royale within Halo Infinite? Yes, I would. I think it'd be a ton of fun. I like playing Warzone with my friends. I like playing Apex Legends on occasion as well. The game mode of Battle Royale is just a fun experience to play. And I think Halo has the ingredients already made to make a great Battle Royale game. They just need to make the map and randomize some spawns and maybe maybe introduce some new game mechanics in there as well. Uh, but I think that a lot of the heavy lifting is already there. They just need to execute on it. If you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the playlist right here. Got link to all my Halo news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.